It's the end of the summer, and bamboo shoots still be found in the farmer market. I'd like to show you how to make bamboo soup, Thai Isan style. This soup is very well known in the northeastern area of Thailand. I'll choose sweet bamboo shoot, which has very little bitterness in it. Bamboo grass juice, or we call yanang juice, will be the base of this soup. Bamboo grass is not easy to come by in America, so it's easy to use from the can. Lemongrass, red onion or shallot, and red chili. Use as spice and herbs. Mushroom, pumpkin, fresh corn, and loofah will be added to the soup to add flavors and sweetness. At the end of the cooking, we'll add climbing wattle or chaom and lemon basil or manglak to add aroma make the soup more appetizing. Sticky rice powder we use as thickening agent for the soup. The preparation starting with peeling bamboo shells. Since I use sweet bamboo shoot and it has very little bitterness in it, so there's an option to not boiling before adding on to the soup to preserve the most flavor, which is the option that I will make it today. Any other kind of bamboo shoot, you will need to boil it before adding into the food because of their bitterness. After peeling all the shell, then we'll be trimming out all the hard part. And cut into bite size. Crushed red chili, use mortar and pestle or food processor. Then add red onion or chalet. Soaking sticky rice for 1 to 2 hours before crushing into powder using mortar and pestle or food processor. Crush lemongrass so it can release the most flavor and cut into a couple inches piece. Cut loofah into a circle bite size. The cooking begin with adding bamboo grass juice in the pot. Add lemongrass and onion chili mixture. Bring to a boil with a medium high heat. Then add bamboo shoot. Let it cook in medium heat for at least 15 minutes. And season with salt, anchovy sauce to add umami into the soup, and a little fish sauce to add layers of flavors. Continue to cook for 3 to 5 minutes to let all the flavors blend. And add mushroom, and today I use oyster mushroom, but you can use any kind. Add raw corn kernel, loofah slices, and pumpkin, which today I use calabaza pumpkin. It has firm texture, creamy flavor, and very light sweet taste. All of these vegetables besides adding great flavors, but it also add natural sweetness to the soup. Continue to cook until all the vegetables soft and cook. And add sticky rice powder. Add additional green chili for extra heat. Continue to cook for 5 minutes until the soup thicken. And add chaom or climbing water and manglak or lemon basil. The soup gets so aromatic with these two topping vegetables. Cover with the lid so the aroma can be contained. Then remove from the heat. It smells so good and so appetizing.
It's time to enjoy this delicious soup. It's good as it is, and you can also enjoy it with sticky rice. It's pretty easy to make and incorporate with a lot of vegetables. It's very healthy. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. See you for the next video.